Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is going to be your general weekly reading for January the 28th through the 3rd of February, 2019. All right, so let's see what we have for Capricorn. And I will be pulling two other Oracle cards as well for extra messages at the end of the reading for you, Capricorn. All right, Ace of Wands is the situation of the week. What's driving you is the Ten of Swords. Your recent past is the Moon card. Very nice. King of Pentacles coming out that's uh, crowning you what you know right now and the new circumstance is going to be the prince of cups from the bottom of the deck beautiful overall energy we have the ten of cups i'm going to go ahead and clarify this ten of swords we have the three of wands and the prince of cups for capricorn what's this prince of cups prince of pentacles beautiful all right so your overall energy for this week capricorn can't, you just can't get any better than this <laughs> beautiful happiness uh joy you know your cup is runneth over you you're content i mean you have abundance right now um in love in happiness so that's surrounding your family your home life so that's very nice you have the ace of wands as the situation of the week this is an epiphany a new idea this is a new beginning a fresh start some of you could be starting um, a new job as well um, this is always i mean look at the growth and the sun so there's there's a lot of fiery inspiration and passion with this as well so this is something you're very excited about now the reason why i clarified the ten of swords this is what's driving you so this is the end of a cycle um this is where you were hitting rock bottom and now there's nowhere to go but up from here okay so i wanted to get a little bit more insight on that and it was clarified by the three of wands so i feel like for many of you you've you've put out uh you know this this ace of wands has shown up here as the situation i feel like the seeds have been planted capricorn you're waiting on your ships to come in you're waiting on growth expansion to take place all right something that you've you've put out there you're waiting on it to come back to you and it's going to help end this cycle that you've been in so capricorn for many of you i feel like this has to do with finances um i feel like your financial situation is gonna you know pick up and start moving in a more positive direction now in your recent past you could have been dealing with a pisces as well <clears throat> excuse me but this represents maybe not seeing something clearly um you know not seeing the the path you know the whole path all the way through because if you see there's a spot here where that path is hidden it's covered you can't see it um so maybe i i really do feel like the light has been shown on this situation because this showing up in your recent past i feel like whatever was blocking you or whatever you wasn't seeing you are seeing it now and that's why this cycle is ending okay with the ten of swords so this is what's crowning you this is what you're thinking about this is what you know i think this is what you want you want stability all right you could be thinking about um another taurus virgo or capricorn uh but i, I feel like this is you capricorn this is what you're wanting you're wanting structure in your life stability this king is very he's he's earned his wealth he's um people come to him and ask for loans people come to him because he and he will give it he he has it to give he's you know he's like i said he's sitting pretty all right 
and he's a very nurturing individual this is like a father figure or a mentor this could be somebody that you look up to but i feel like this is what you're embodying right here and the reason why i'm saying that is because we have the prince of cups popping up here as your new circumstance now this oftentimes represents an offer of love coming in somebody offering their cup to you a, a romantic card but i feel like this is an opportunity that's coming in and it has to do with your finances it has to do with your job your business um that's going to help you be able to grow and i feel like this is a love gift you know we receive love gifts all the time from the universe and spirit and i feel like this is one of those times and this is what it's going to bring you it's going to bring you a feeling of long-term financial gain and independence this is something that is slow moving it, it progresses slowly but it's well worth the wait capricorn um the prince of pentacles you know Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I mean, this is, you know, you, you are embodying this energy right here. This is a hard worker. This is somebody that works diligent on what they want and where they're wanting to go. And they make sure that it's done right. All the T's are crossed. All the I's are dotted. Everything is, you know, I just, I really, and I just got, you know, this could be a situation here where you've had to move forward with the job situation, uh, with a business. Um, because with the Ten of Swords here, I feel like you've set off on this journey. You've planted seeds here. And it's the seeds of this, this inspiration, this Ace of Wands that is, you know, representing this new idea, new epiphany here. And it's just beautiful. This could be an investment as well. Capricorn, you could invest it in something that is going to, you know, you're going to be able to reap your harvest and enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's going to have you set in like the King of Pentacles right here. And I feel like you already know this. You know, you took whatever gift this was that the universe gave you and you've turned it into something that's going to be very dependable and practical for you. Okay. And, I mean, this is abundance. I feel like you guys have a lot of abundance uh, coming in and happiness, okay? Um, a happy home life. You know, independence is really in my mind right now. So, if you've been struggling in the past, it's, it's what's driving you right now to move forward and to have the security and stability of, you know, the kind of life that you're wanting. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull for you, Capricorn. Please excuse my dog. He's dreaming and making funny noises. <laughs> oh, I just love my babies. Oh, beautiful. Lion spirit. And if you see, it's number 37, which equals 10, right? So there's, there's new cycles coming. Cycles are ending and new beginnings are starting. You have a lot of 10s showing up. So the lion spirit be generous of spirit so this is beautiful make sure you guys that you give gratitude and thanks for where you've come from you know what the things that's been rough in in your past or or you know you making this new change and starting on this new path this new life cycle whether it's business uh job finances um if you invested in something Make sure that you pay homage to spirit and give thanks and gratitude because spirit wants you to know that, you know, the universe has got your back 100% Capricorn. So it's, this is a pretty amazing reading, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. What is that? Number 10? Wow. This is so, uh, there's... <laughs> synchronicity big time okay there's message big time here for you guys the buffalo spirit is a beautiful card the abundant universe will provide 
I'm just telling you guys, be thankful and pay gratitude for what you have because there's more to come. And I feel like you're already feeling this, Capricorn. You already know this. You have abundance in love. You, I feel like you're you're gaining or you know abundance or, or you already have abundance in your finances, but you're shooting for long term or you're just now getting to where you're building your finances up. That you know this is just awesome. So, I mean, and as long as you pay respects, you're happy, um, you give back, you know, some of what you've been given, there's more to come. I really do feel like that's what Spirit's trying to say to you right now, Capricorn. This is beautiful, beautiful energy. So, I, I want to thank all of you so much from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for all of you that view my videos. I love you guys. So, I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings uh, from the bottom of my heart. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.